I'm Fonts. I'm Beauty. And I'm Phones. <laughs> <laughs> so in today's video, we're going to be sharing about how to organize your schedule. You know, like one of my mentors, Mike Murdoch, always says, the secret to success is hidden in your daily routine. Yeah. Very important to actually have a daily routine because your daily routine are the steps that's going to take you to success. Yeah. And like he said, from your daily routine, of course, you want to break it into the daily, the weekly, the monthly, and that's how, you know, you start. But of course, like I always say, guys, you know, uh, uh, organizing your schedule, first of all, starts with organizing yourself. Yeah. Because if you're disorganized, you can't really, you know, organize nothing. And we're talking of running businesses. We are talking of, you know, a lot of people always tell me like, oh, my bell, how do you do it? Like, <laughs> how do you do all this? Oh, my bell, you're a mom. A lot of people be like, oh, my bell, your house be so clean. I can eat from the floor. <laughs> you're a mom. You're a content creator. You're an influencer. You're an entrepreneur. You're a businesswoman. Like, how do you do it all? And I always tell people, it's all about organize the schedule. Yeah. You gotta organize yourself because imagine, you know, if you wake up anytime you want, but you know, you cook anytime you want. Like me, and I'm bringing it down to the family now because, of course, I'm a wife first. I'm a mom first before anything else, right? Yeah. So you want to first of all organize yourself. Make sure, okay, you want to play the cards. Make sure that everything is it's running smoothly. You know, the the way they are supposed to run. And this boils down to your daily schedule, your weekly it schedule. Does. And like I always say, guys, I love to, like we, you know, it's not my, me. Now, I always say I because all along it's always me filming on my channel. But we, you know, we love to schedule in terms of from the daily to the weekly to the monthly. And then, you know, it goes on and on and yeah. on. You know, I always say this and I've shared this with her over the years that before the miracle comes there's order yes so it reminds me of a bible verse mm -hmm. where jesus actually the, the miracle of the feeding of the five thousand yes and so a lot of people actually hear about this mm -hmm. where he fed the five thousand which actually were more right. because he fed them with two and, fish and, and five, five loaves. loaves but one of the things if you read that scripture you'll see that before that miracle before he gave that instruction and before that miracle took place he actually told the disciples to seat them down in sets of 50. Yes. So that means order. that without that order, the distribution of the wealth, the distribution of the success and mm -hmm. the miracle would not have happened. Yes. And that's our life. That's your life. If you don't put order in place and you don't get yourself organized, mm -hmm. you'll never see the success. Success doesn't necessarily have to be money. Right. It just needs to be at peace. Mm -hmm. It can be having more order in your house. It can be having fulfillment, right? It's not always about material things. Right. And, and you know, where while he was saying, I wanted to say something. Sorry. Him, right you know um even though like he was saying it can take you years but when you have that order right something that's supposed to take you let's say 20 years you end up probably accomplishing yeah. it in five years because you because of that order that yeah. you already put in place so it makes it so much easier right. to be able to execute and not only that but one of the key things that you need to realize is that order attracts yes so in, in order for you to actually attract more mm -hmm. you need to be in order yeah. so an example would be grants a lot of people actually want grants or want access to grants right. and grants are free money that mm -hmm. you don't have to pay back. pay back but in order to actually have grants those people who are giving you the grants they want to see that you're in order right and i have students and i teach them about grants and i can share with you that many people are not in order to be able to receive mm -hmm. the miracle to receive the blessing so this is something that we've uh, studied over the years mm -hmm. we've actually fine-tuned we've had to they have to make changes in our life mm -hmm. so that we can actually get in order yeah, because yeah. we saw like what you were sharing in order to actually not only scale and get to our goals faster mm -hmm. it actually took us to basically sit down strategize and be honest with ourselves right. so it's going to basically so take you sitting down you and have a conversation one-on-one to yourself, one -on -one to yourself yeah. where you're going to be honest with yourself mm -hmm. and say you know what these are my strengths mm -hmm. these are my weaknesses right. I really need to get in order. Oh, no, and if no. you're a person that's always late, if you're a person that can't get it together, right. if you can't uh, run simply. your house, if you can't run your household and your family, mm -hmm. how are you going to run a business? Right. How are you going to run a million dollar business mm -hmm. like we are? Yeah. You can't. Mm -hmm. So you need to actually get yourself in order. And it's the little things. You yeah. know, the Bible says that it's the small foxes that spoil the vine. Right. You start small. Don't despise small beginnings. Mm -hmm. and small beginnings means that you're actually starting out from where you are right. by getting yourself in order. In order. And, and you know, and when, just like what he's saying, I feel like let's bring it down to something that is so common, especially in this part of the world. You know, the order we're talking about, like let's say credit cards, right? They yeah. give you 
they give you an sure. amount of yeah. money, right? Just to be able to fill fill you out, see like how you're able to spend that money and repay it in 30 days. So yeah. that's order. If you're not, you know, in order, that's why there is a high level of credit card the debt right. in the country. You know, what she said is so valuable right. and so truthful mm -hmm. because even managing a credit card, yeah. you need to have order. order. Because why? There's a due date for that credit mm -hmm. card, right? Then there's a statement date. So you need to know about those two things because the difference of not knowing it can make the difference of you not only having your credit utilization reflect that you right. actually have a high credit utilization, mm -hmm. which means that creditors looking at you, anyone who's going to offer credit to you, right. they're going to say that you're not you're not you're really capable, you're not yeah. a good steward, you're yeah. not disciplined, you're not and that's how we were able yeah. to build by you utilizing these principles, right. not only in our family, but just with credit, for example, right. building our credit up into almost 800 right. is by actually practicing and having things in order, right. knowing when the statement payment yeah. date was, mm -hmm. making sure that our utilization was between 2 and 3%. Right. When the credit statement actually, when the, when the cycle uh, was closed, mm -hmm. you need to know all those things, and that actually starts with order. Right. And you know, when we're talking about organization, like we said, you want to bring it down to your daily and then to your weekly and let's say for instance for me let me talk about me because like when it comes to organization you guys know moms you know wives we all got it together but yeah when it comes to that you know you want to of course start from yourself you want to write things down i always say that you know having a planner yeah. is very very important very like important. i can't stress i always tell people that you know before i used to be the type to write things on the pieces of paper yeah. just keep me and then sometimes it's like you Pick at the end of lost. the month you <laughs> see that it's lost or you have pieces of paper all over the place but a planner especially a digital planner like it just it, it helps you get organized right mm -hmm. you're able to write things down you're able you know to let's say your daily must do's you write it down and as you're doing it you're checking it off right. you know and then we pine down to you know the weekly let's say in let's say you know this is uh, you know the week and then maybe next week i have maybe the pediatrician's appointment you have to write those things down and as you're accomplishing them you're checking them mm -hmm. off so having a planner apart from just being organized like when we're talking about being organized also having a planner comes in, in play right. mm -hmm. and you know the thing is like we're sharing so it starts out with actually the daily routine mm -hmm. and the first way and the first step that you need to take in order to organize your schedule is to really look at when you're starting in the day right. because without that so you're really not if you don't have a good start yeah. everything else is going to actually be spoiled it's not right. going to work mm -hmm. so the first thing you need to look at is when are you waking up and when you're waking up that's very important and now, before you actually look at when you're waking up, you got to look at when you're going to bed. Right. If you go to bed but, at 4 in the morning. But what he's saying now is so true because I remember when I used to wake up so like, I mean, 11, 10 o'clock in the morning, my husband would tell me, but he would be like, babe, you're just waking up Wall Street. Wall Street, they already finished whatever, like yeah. whatever he said Wall Street all does. Gone. Like all, all the gone. money's gone and you're just waking up. So being able to put yourself, organize yourself, whereby you're waking up early, early, you're hitting your goals, you're hitting, yeah. you know, all those things your schedule everything that you know yeah. that you're supposed to hit and then you're able to go to bed these are like just the small things yeah waking up early going to bed early i know it sounds small it sounds uh but that's actually number yeah, one so it, that's the key, key. Yeah. that's the, and key. the thing is that you know what you want to do is you want to set goals mm -hmm. and it can be big goals they can be small goals yeah. so you actually want to start out by allocating your goals to each day yeah. so let's just say you have monday through sunday allocate some of your tasks and your right. goals to Monday yeah. and just check them off as you do as them. You do so them. what you do is you allocate and you time block, mm -hmm. right, uh, each goal to a specific hour in the day. Right. So let's just say you wake up at 9 a.m. and then you need to actually go to the gym. Well, you're actually going to allocate maybe 30 minutes or an hour to, to the, the gym. gym. So, so you time block out yeah. between 9 and 10, 10. you're going to go to the gym. Right. If you work, you actually can allocate time if you're working part time or full time. Mm -hmm. You allocate that time to work, right. and then after that, let's just say you have a side hustle, right. and then also you have to spend time with your family. Mm -hmm. You have to get in the habit of using your 24 hours as employees right. and really assigning them, mm -hmm. really like tasks, right. right to each hour. Right. That's how you're going to be able to get more out of 24 hours mm -hmm. because if you don't do that, you're going to be scattered on all That's over the true. place. That's so by true. time blocking mm -hmm. and basically segmenting everything, okay, if I need to actually learn how to actually uh, 
bake a cake. Right. I'm going to do this between 5.30 and 6 o'clock only. Right. When that's done, when 6 o'clock hits, that's I'm actually going to go ahead and it. I'm going to do something else. Right. And you've time, you've allocated that time. Mm -hmm. So that's how you actually start to organize the schedule. It's going to take discipline. Mm -hmm. But what you're doing is if you do this for 30 days consistently, you're going to be forming a habit. Right. And you just want to continually do it. And you also want to basically make people who are in your household right. that live with you right. aware of your schedule, your schedule. so that they yep. can respect it. Yes. I can share with you this from um, being in real estate for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. By prospecting. Mm -hmm. So prospecting is when you're actually reaching out to people who are either motivated sellers right. or people who actually own buildings. Right. And we're looking to try to not only acquire real estate for us mm -hmm. and build our portfolio, mm -hmm. but also get business. So in order to do that, you have to do a combination of things. That could be cold calling, right. that could be mailing, that could be networking, mm -hmm. but all those things take time. So you actually need to allocate time and it has to be respected. Yeah. So I can share with you that with prospecting, for example, those are conversations, voice to voice, that you're right. having with people. Yeah. And you can't have people come in and inter inter interrupt you. Too. Yes. So Probably during those times, mm -hmm. you need to set a time schedule where you I'm going to do this for two hours, right. three hours. Hang a sign on your door right. and let everyone know. Please do not do disturb. Not this is actually my time just for specifically right. this. You're going to do it in that time and you're executing whatever happens within those three hours uh, just for that. Right. And you can switch gears and do other things. Yeah. But that's an example of how you can actually organize your schedule. Mm -hmm. And like he's saying, right? And once you're able to get, you know, get on that routine, on that, you know, on that schedule, you also notice that people around you, they are aware, okay, so, so, so time, you know, mommy is doing this, daddy is doing yeah. this, so, so, so time. And let me tell you guys, there is, there is this sense of fulfillment, there is this sense of joy that comes in where, like, at the end of the day, you're going through your daily schedule, your daily yeah. to-do, and you're off. checking it off, and then you're like, Oh my gosh, like yeah. I checked it up. Like I was able to do everything that I was planned that you know I put in my schedule to do for the day. And also that comes in for the weekly, for the monthly. Like there's just this joy that I don't yeah. know for you guys, but for me I just be, you know, working like, yeah. you know, like like you know, I've I've been able to accomplish a lot, you yeah. know, because those are the things, those are goals I set for myself, those are my to do, and I was able to accomplish yeah. them. Yeah, you know, it's like the saying goes, what she's saying is so true. Can an ant eat an elephant. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. Yes, it can. Can an ant eat an <laughs> elephant? It's like the saying goes, can an ant eat an elephant? Yeah. yeah. That's true. That's if you true. Give that, it time, if you give it time. If that's you give true. it time, the yeah. ant can eat an elephant Jesus. one bite size at a time. At a time. And so that's it's what you mean. You're fight. chewing away. You have these big goals and you're chewing away you're at your, your, your goals daily, daily. Right? The secret daily. to success is hitting your daily routine. That's it. Just always that's remember that. Yeah. So if you have these big goals, you have these dreams, mm -hmm. it's going to boil down to what you're doing daily. Start with what you're doing daily. Go to sleep early. Wake up early. Mm -hmm. Start with prayer. Right. Start to ask God for wisdom and wisdom. strategy on what to do with Very your day. Important. Network with the right people. Right. Get yourself organized. Start mm -hmm. to actually put and set your goals down. Break them up from being large Big goals large. to bite-sized bite. small goals. Yeah. And then you're going to execute on those small goals mm -hmm. so you can actually reach your big, your big, big goals. goals. Yeah. So that's how you actually do it and that's how we've done it. Yeah. We've been able to build not only a million dollar business but multiple six figure businesses yeah. doing this right from home. Yeah. So all the things we've learned and we were able to, you know, work on and organize and get our schedule, you know, going over the years, we've been able to put it in our planner. Like I said, like you can't, you can't execute your daily routine, your daily, your daily to do's, your weekly to do's, your monthly to do's without a planner. This is, you know, where I'm so, 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 so happy with this planner because like we told you guys, it's job, like it's packed with a lot, like, you know, a lot of helpful tips, a lot of things. And even, you know, just bringing it down as a content creator, as influencer, right? Just for you to be able to, you know, work with brands, you have to be in order. You have to be organized yeah. because there are dates to meet, there are campaigns, deadlines, deadlines yeah. campaigns, briefs to read, you know, and all those things. So, organizing yourself is very, very key. And being able to have this, like this is, like I told you guys, this is my baby right now because yeah. it has everything I need, guys. Like I'm able to monthly. schedule, yeah, the you know, the, the, we have the monthly budget, we have, you know, the daily planner. Everything is all in yeah, here. Yeah. So then that's the key because like what she's sharing, you can't work. If you're working on it from an aspect of instability, mm -hmm. which if your schedule is not stable, stable. and you're not dependable, top brands are not going to work with you. Yeah. So you need to actually have yourself in order mm -hmm. and have a place that you can actually turn to that's a go-to place right. so that you know that your life is organized right. in, that place. in that place. And that's why we created this planner right. to give you that gift so you can not only have a planner to be, be able to organize yourself, 
from a weekly, from a daily and a weekly and a monthly basis, okay. but we also gave you secrets. Right. Secrets that we've actually picked up over the last 12 years yeah. as to how to build businesses from home, right. how to make our home our income, mm -hmm. how to make six figures in a month, right. how to make five figures in a week. Mm -hmm. We've actually shown you some secrets in here, yeah. how to actually package your family for success. Right. So this is actually more than just a planner. Mm -hmm. It's actually a guide that's going to have you with some key secrets that we've actually, uh, it took us a long time yeah. in order to be able to learn. You know, these are like things we've learned in 12 years, like we, yeah. we are able to put in a book. And like a lot of people always tell me, Oma Bell, like, we don't know how you do it, like how you wear all these hats and you still look good, you still look look fly, you still achieve a lot and it's all in here guys, like organizing yourself, scheduling up, you know, setting up your schedule, vision you board, know, your, your routine, your vision, your vision board. everything, it's very very important yeah. and you know, we put everything in here. So, like you guys say, oh my bell, you're a wife, you're a mom, you're this, you're that, you're that, how do you get all these things, you know, accomplished, how do you get all these things done? It's through organization and we've been able to put it down here for you guys and also even being a content creator, a lot of people be like, yeah. what about you be, you be dishing out this content like back to back, back to back. How do you find time to do it? It's all about organizing yourself. Organizing. So if you like to get in order, if you like to know how to actually properly set up your schedule, how to get your life in order mm -hmm. so you can actually scale and start to grow financially and otherwise have happiness, have right. stability, yeah. have peace of mind. Mm -hmm. When you have things in order, it gives you peace of mind. It gives you a sense of of, of not only value, but it mm -hmm. gives you a sense of really stability. Right. And that's important to not only you, but everyone around you. I, and of course, you know, something that is supposed to take you 20 years to accomplish, when you're organized, you find out like you can get that done in five years. Like, yeah. it just kills that time, you know, where you're just, you know, just relaxing, laying around. Once you get yourself in order, once you get yourself organized, once you get your schedule, you know, Pinpoint to, you know, from the daily tax to the weekly tax to the monthly tax, the sky is definitely your limit. Absolutely. <laughs> so if you'd like to get our 12-month date list planner and also our mini course with all the secret tips that we're sharing with you in this yeah. video, make sure you go to our website at beautyandphones.com and make sure you get our five, the bundle. This mm -hmm. is actually going to be a part of the five bundle deal yeah. that we've actually included there. You can actually get this. This is a 178 page. You can actually get this, a digital planner, right. and it'll be a game changer for yeah. you and your family. Mm -hmm. So you just simply go to beautyandphones.com and actually click on 12 month day list planner and you'll be able to get the bundle yeah but yeah you guys i hope this video was helpful i hope you guys you know are gonna take some tips and tricks here and get yourself organized especially you know with the beginning of the year you guys once i believe that once you get this going like just set a goal give yourself 30 days from the daily to the weekly to yeah. the monthly once you try it a month and you're able to accomplish it you're able to get that joy you know the joy yeah. i'm talking about there's just this joy that when you set up goals and you're able to accomplish that goals there is a joy that comes with it so once you're able to just do it try it out for one month and let us know what you know what, what happens Absolutely. yeah and if you'd like to get our income guide our free income guide make sure you comment phones in the comment section below and we'll make sure that we send that to you so if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and we look forward to seeing you guys in the next video until next time thank Bye. you so much for watching I'm a content creator, an entrepreneur, uh, an influencer, and we are a lot of